Oh, this what we running? Let's run it. Get out of here. Not impressed. Jesus Christ. Good I can't be mad at that one. That was just good defense. Oh, that's that bullshit. Jesus fucking Christ. Y'all motherfuckers act like God fucking Superman is on this motherfucking field playing. What is going on with this game? That's just stupid. That's fucking retarded. I'm Gucci. If you can fucking get in there like that in one fucking second, no, fuck that. For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays that I'll be using in today's video are once again from my New Orleans Saints offense and multi-D defensive ebooks, but I just dropped two new defenses in the Las Vegas Raiders and Kansas City Chiefs. So if you guys want more help, you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly by just clicking links in the description of the top end comment. And if you want to see plays out of the Chiefs or Raiders playbook, let me know in the comment section. I get a possible Super Bowl matchup with two of the best teams in the game, once again using my Philadelphia Eagles against the Buffalo Bills. On the opening kickoff, after trying the new squib kick and failing horribly in my last video, I've gone back to the fullback kick, which my opponent tries to let go out the back of the end zone or maybe go to his return man, but neither works, as I can smell the free touchdown, <laughs> as I literally hit the ball with my foot while running right past it to try to scoop and score. The defense I'm going to be using once again is my 3-4 odd scheme, but as always, the more I use this, the more I learn about it, so I'm going to give you guys some new tips and strategies that I found out on how to use this defense even better, as it's the only defense that I've used since Madden 24 came out. I have more defenses to show you guys for sure but this defense has me on a 12 game win streak right now and i've also have the fifth lowest points allowed per game in all of madden 24 using just this defense so if you guys want to see me make videos about a new defense let me know in the comment section but i ain't using nothing else until this win streak is finished because i want to see how far i can take this the key to this defense's success is once again the right coaching adjustments as i change every single one of these to something but i'm only going to show you guys the ones that are most important in this defense there are a lot of advantages to be had here though so if you guys want to learn more about coaching adjustments I already made a full video about this, so I will have a link in the description and at the end of the video if you want to know more. There's really only three that I think are the most important. Number one is my zone drops, as I always set these to 15 and 5, so I have the option to change them before the play. The next one is ball in the air defense, which I usually set to play ball for more interceptions, but I also like to play receivers sometimes for more knockouts as well. And the most important by far is the auto alignment, which I will always set to base. This allows me to confuse my opponent by making every defense look the exact same when I come out of the Huddle. And I will be coming out in a lot of different defenses as I will constantly be switching coverages throughout the entire game, trying to never give my opponent the same look on back to back plays. On the first play, though, since I want a safety, I choose what might be the best play in this formation for pass defense and blitzing, and that is the pinch buck zero. To set up this defense and all the defenses I'm going to show you today, all you really have to do is pinch the defense, which is RB or R1, whether on Xbox or PlayStation, and down the left stick. <laughs> we almost get the safety but Allen might be a tough guy to get as he gets the ball off very fast. Like I said earlier I don't usually want to show my opponent the same play twice in a row as the confusion is one of the main weapons of the scheme but this is the best blitz and I'm really trying to get a safety here. Damn it! Now that a safety looks out of the picture, I'm going to switch to my cover 3 version. Only this time I'm going to add one more step to this setup by blitzing all linebackers, which is D-pad to the left and down. And on the next play, he tries to run the ball and gets absolutely stuffed by the pinched alignment. Sit your ass down! Since confusion is key, I call my most confusing coverage next in the cover 6, as I really just use this as a curveball that I like to throw at my opponent every once in a while. I still blitz all linebackers from this look, and even though he hikes the ball before I get the full setup in... Watch out, watch out. I still get an instant sack from multiple defenders to push him back to 3rd and 18, bringing that safety possibility back into play. From here he hurries me up and I switch back to the pinch buck zero How about new? as we get the knockout. He goes for it on 4th down and I go back to the cover zero one more time, only this time I get confused Where you going? about who my coverage assignment is during the play as I leave the tight end wide open up the seam for the easiest first down of his life. I switch to cover through in the next play and he perfectly times it with a stretch run, which this defense is naturally weak against since the cornerbacks drop back after the snap. And now he is in scoring range. So I go back to the pinch bug zero to stop the bleeding on the next two plays. Get over here! 
to get to a third and seven. And I'm going to send the heat again, only this time he makes a motion that turns the responsibility of the tight end to me. So even though it's best to start the play in the guard gap to try to pull a blocker to help out the blitz, I have to worry about getting back in time. <laughs> And the pressure gets in fine without me, as this blitz has to be the fastest in Madden. Now on 4th and 15, this is kind of a no man's land if you're not good at kicking long field goals, so he decides to go for it. And I'm sending the dogs one more time, only this time his line picks it up perfectly as he gets the ball out well short of the marker. How about new? On offense, I'm still using my gun stack wide flex scheme. I already made a full breakdown of everything this offense is capable of. So if you guys want to learn more about that, once again, I will have a link in the description and at the end of the video. On the very first play, I can show you the importance of having your coaching adjustments set to base like I do compared to my opponent who does not. Since he does not have his in base, it is easy for me to see that he is in a cover one or a cover three since he has a single high safety. So since I know what his coverage is before the snap, I can call a play for it. Break yourself, fool! Oh, he almost had it. From here, I take the running back underneath to get inside the three before getting a penalty for making too many adjustments to push me back. Then getting pushed back even further by Vaughn Miller. God damn it! On third down, I don't want to force anything, so I take off with Jalen and almost punch it in, getting down to the one before I decide to go for it. And once I see he only has one cornerback on the stack side here, I know exactly where I'm going with the ball. Do it! And this is the first time my opponent tries to win the game with his mouth. Back on defense, I switched to cover for a drop, as this is probably the best run defense in the game. He's been coming out under center a lot, but it literally gets no pass rush, as he starts to pick my coverage apart before I should have had an interception on the very next play. And now the shit talking is on and constant. Man, I'm playing another dick rider. As we get another instant sack. A week ago! Woo! That motherfucker's been running this shit since fucking 2018. Jesus Christ. He gets back to a third and short before I'm just a step behind another interception to get him inside the red zone. From here, I don't want to let this trash talker score. That was a close one. As we almost get another interception in the end zone. And then again on the very next play. Nothing for you. Come on. Jesus fucking Christ. That motherfuckers act like goddamn fucking Superman is on this motherfucking field playing. To get him into a fourth down once again. Only this time he gets it. Damn it. And now he's feeling himself. Now I'm thinking I can't lose to this guy, so with a minute and 44 seconds left, I am going right back to my offense. Oh, that's what we're running. Let's run it. He gets me into a third down, and I thought I read cover four, but he is all over that. And now it feels like the game is turning in his favor. He hits that four verticals tight end up the seam once again, as it's really the only thing he's been doing. And now he is going to an empty backfield look and blaming the bad throw on Madden trying to let me win or something. Shit. Before we get a knockout on the very next play and he changes his tune. I switch back to cover six and this time he gets it away right in front of my rookie safety to keep his drive alive, but also using his last time out in the process. On the next play, he takes the check down, which ultimately screws any chance yeah. of scoring, but he does get back to the line of scrimmage and get the ball off with one second left. But I'm guessing that he wish he hadn't, as he tries to make the exact same play, only this well, time good. Nolan Smith is all that's over it. Stupid. That's not even the fucking play that I called. Wow. That's not even the play that I fucking called. That's crazy. And now he is blaming the game in another way. Did the game choose to throw to that receiver also? <laughs> Now this guy's running the loser's handbook to perfection as he tries an onside kick to open the half, and since I'm outnumbered, I just can't trust the computer to get the recovery. Which of course, the game is cheating for me once again. So three, three, so three people wrapped him up in his arms, and he still gets just free, like ain't shit happening to him. On the next play, it comes out an obvious weak box, so I switch to the inside zone and cut it back behind my superstar all-world tackle Lane Johnson. <laughs> Which is obviously the game's fault. <laughs> this game is too fucking crazy. Momentum in this and now he's complaining about the home field advantage. Fucking squiggly lines. What the Not that he needs to see that since he's only hitting this tight end from the four verticals anyway. Which he can do blindfolded. He hits a slant on the next play and now he's driving before finding a new way to blame the game. He fucking lobbed it bro. What the fuck? I switched the cover through in the next play. <laughs> And he can't wait for another as he hurries me up. And that rage quit is so close I can almost hear it. As we get the stop and the rage quit.
I'm Gucci. If you can fucking get in there like that in one fucking second, no, fuck that. That's some dumb fucking corny gay ass Madden shit. So that's that's the video. If you guys enjoyed the content, please make sure to hit the like button and be a subscriber for more. And if you want to see more about the offense or coaching adjustments that I was using in today's game, I will have them popping up on screen. So just click the links and I'm sure to help with your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. To show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.